NBA's best rim protectors this season from the Bleacher Report. Number one, Brooke Lopez. Two, uh, Sabonis. Three, Zubek. Number 10, Jared Allen of the Cavaliers. Point saved at the rim, uh, 27.55. Opponents are converting 49.4% of their looks at the basket with Allen on them. Uh, the stingiest mark in the league among the 52 players to contest as many close shot, ra- uh, cl- close range shots. Sam, what that tells me is that this is a guy you don't want at the basket when you're trying to score. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's he's been a big difference, and I think that you know number ten to me seems low uh, because if you watch the Cavs without him, uh, it's a little bit different of a ball game. Uh, especially at the rim. Evan Mobley does a nice job, but Allen is uh, another level when it comes to protecting the basket. It's obviously not just blocking shots, but as the stat showed you, uh, altering shots, making shots more difficult uh, for for players who might not get it blocked, but they're certainly thinking twice about going in there. And he really, you know, you talk about not just blocking and altering shots, but, but getting the break started, getting rebounds, finishing, uh, at the other end, he, he's just really a guy who, you know, we talk about Mitchell and Garland all the time, as we should, because, you know, they're the, the two best players, two biggest threats offensively. But Allen is, is for an all-star, a guy who was an all-star last year, is pretty unsung uh, around the league. But I, I'll tell you what, opposing teams really appreciate him and respect him. Uh, especially when they're driving to the basket, because he is he's he's not only he's not only has the length and the athleticism, but he has the smarts to know when to jump, uh, not get into foul trouble. And, uh, you know, he's not he's not considered up there with the Joel Embiid's and Carl Anthony Towns of the world. But uh, defensively, he probably should be because he makes that big of a difference. Yeah, and you know what? He runs well, and he he's quick off his feet. My guess is that 10 number is because he missed some games um, because of injury. And, and the Cavs' defense was not the same. With I mean, that's obviously a statement, but, I mean, the Cavs, there's a noticeable difference in the defense when he is out there. Yeah, and I mean, it all comes down to the fact that, uh, you, you know, if, if a guy gets past one of your guards and he's not out there, well – life at the rim is going to be a lot easier. If he is, that changes the course of everything that everybody else is trying to do. And you throw in Evan Mobley with that, you know, you've got two seven-footers there at the basket, both really good shot blockers, you know. So uh, when you're an opposing guard, that just goes into your head when you're driving to the basket. You kick it back out for a worse shot. Um, it, really, it really does start when he's not in there, when Allen's not there. Uh, Of course, that becomes considerably easier. You just have to worry about Mobley. You try to pull him away from the basket if you're an opponent. And um, that's, you know, it just changes the course of everything the Cavs are trying to do. And Allen is a guy who plays playoff style basketball all season long with that defense. Um, So that's that's something that should benefit them when it means the most as well. 